Hey guys, it's Rebecca here uh, checking in. I've been a little bit busy lately, so just kind of an update about my life. My husband and I several weeks ago purchased a condo um, and then last week we closed on the sale of our house. So we've been kind of back and forth in between, um, but now we're officially in our condo for good for the next however many years, who knows. Um, so we closed on that on Monday, but then my mom fell and broke her hip on Wednesday. So we had like one day of sort of non-chaos um, and even on that day, we had some furniture delivered, so it was still a little bit chaotic. Um, and then we were kind of thrown upside down by my mom. The good news is she's doing really well. She's already moved to rehab. Um, she's a pretty healthy lady. And um, thank you to everybody who's, who knew about that and who reached out. She's doing really great. And um, very thankful for that and for the medical care she's been given. So anyway, it's just been a little bit of crazy around here. And I know Bridget's been doing some interviews. Uh, she talked to Melinda and Tammy. And so that was great for you all to get to see a little bit more about some of our coaches here. Um, but I thought I'd hop on here today. I haven't been on here in a while. And just say just kind of a few things, maybe kind of preaching a little bit to the choir. Um, but maybe this can help you all as well. I think it's really important just to be honest with yourself. I see some of you are popping on. Would love to know where you're watching from. You could say in the comments. But anyway, I just think it's really important to be honest with yourself. Here's an example. It's been a pretty stressful, chaotic time in our life. We've had a lot going on. We've also had graduations and uh, family birthdays and a lot of other stuff to juggle in the midst of this move. But anyway, like yesterday, I just needed kind of a release. You ever get to that point where you like know that you need some self-care? You know that there's so much that you need to do that you can't even decide what to start first. And so I was like, I told my husband, I was like, I think we just need to go to the movies. I need to get out of this house. I'm tired of looking at boxes. And he's like, yeah, me too. I just need an escape. So we went and watched the new Down the Abbey movie, which is really um, fun to watch. It was just nice to, to go there and do that. Now, that being said, if you've seen the Downton Abbey movie um, and you have any comments, let me know in the comment. I'd love to know what you thought. I was so excited that they had brought back so many of the characters. They did a phenomenal job getting everybody to sign back on. But anyway, we need something to look forward to. We need a release. We need just some time away from everything that we've been thinking about and working on. Because if I see things, visually see things around me, it's hard for me to relax. Can I get an amen in the comments? Are you like that? Like if I see a box that needs to be unpacked, even if I say, okay, I'm going to unpack it tomorrow. Just the fact that it's kind of there keeps me from completely relaxing. So I just needed some me time. So I told my husband, we need to go to the movies. He agreed. So we um, ordered our tickets online. We had something to look forward to that day. So we were going about our day, but we had something to look forward to. We knew we had a release coming, but I also know myself. And this girl loves movie theater popcorn. Like it's the one thing I cannot stop myself from. <laughs> my husband laughs at me so much because he's like, you're so disciplined in so many areas. And not that I'm really always careful about what I eat, but I'm pretty mindful about what I eat and how much of it, even though I don't like track it in a tracking app or anything. And he's like, but you just get that popcorn. You just go to town. I'm like, I know it's my happy food. Movies are my happy place. It's just what I like to do. And we dated in high school. So he knew what he was getting into when he married me. <laughs> I know it's terrible for, for me. You don't need to tell me. I know that popcorn is high carb. I know whatever that fake butter is, is not good for me. I know all those things. We also usually get a soda with it and I don't normally drink soda, but when I go to the movies, I indulge. All that to say, I know that about myself. That was one of the reasons I wanted to go to the movies. I wanted that whole experience. I wanted the movies and the popcorn and the relaxing. I just wanted it, I needed it. But because of that, I told my husband, okay, you know I'm gonna go crazy on this popcorn today. So let's be really intentional about what we eat for lunch and dinner. He's like, agreed. So um, you all know that I drink Prove It Ketones. I'm pretty transparent about that. That's kind of what gets me started on this whole journey. If you don't know what these are and you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to go back and watch that and look for those later. That got me started on it. And then this year, the company um, sort of met with Sunbasket, which if you've ever ordered from Sunbasket, you know the quality that they provide. And they provide meals. Like you can order meals and have them delivered. And so we get Prove It meals every week. And they're not strictly keto, but they are lower carb, higher fat good quality protein, good quality ingredients, very fresh. Um, and so I told my husband, we're going to go to the movies. I'm going to go crazy on the popcorn, but we're going to eat a prove it meal for lunch and we're going to eat a prove it meal for dinner so that I'm kind of bookending my not so great choices with really good choices. And I'm drinking ketones in between. And yes, I do bring my ketones into the theater. I know you're not supposed to bring external food in, but I feel okay bringing this since we also still buy the popcorn and the soda. So that's my disclaimer for that. I went to the movies. I fully, thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed my popcorn. I was eating on it long after my husband had stopped. He has a little more control when it comes to popcorn. 
And it was just great. It was great. But I didn't lie to myself and say, hey, I'm not going to go and I'm not going to eat popcorn. Like, because that wasn't going to happen. I was going to eat popcorn. That was part of my plan. So I made the plan and I made the rest of my day planning to drink ketones and to eat good, healthy meals for the other thing. So like, just be honest with yourself. If you're going to go, like, I know it's a season of graduations. If you're going to a grad party and you know you're going to eat some cake, just be honest with yourself. I'm not saying go crazy, but if you're going to go and you're going to enjoy a piece of cake, Maybe try to be a little more intentional with your eating before you get there and after. I also think it's a great strategy when you're going to go someplace and maybe not make the best food choices. Make sure you're fully hydrated. Maybe you drink a little extra water before you go in. That water will give you a little bit of a feeling of fullness so that maybe you can indulge and try some different things. Have a little cake, have a little snack, have a, have a little this or that. But you won't feel like, oh, I'm so hungry. I've waited for this all day, which is what I used to do. In the comments, I would love to know, did you ever do that or do you still do that? If you know you're going to a party and you know there's going to be yummy food, do you like not eat all day so that you can really like go hog wild, literally hog wild at the party? Anyone? Just me? Come on, guys. Truly, it's not just me. That's how I used to be. I used to be like, oh, it's going to be great. We're going to have all these snacks. So I would just not eat anything. Then I would get to the party and be ravenous and then I would eat so much of everything. Not a good strategy. Not a good life choice. Now I try to be a little more intentional. If I know I'm going to a party, if I know I'm going to the movies, I try to do the opposite and make like better choices. Now I do also do a lot of intermittent fasting and I will use that as a strategy to also allow myself a little more freedom in what I eat when I'm going out to eat or to a party or to the movies. Um, but I do want to make sure I'm not ravenously hungry by the time I get there. And so when you're using intermittent fasting, if you're a little more used to it, you can do that and like not eat and then go and not make a like a fool of yourself eating but if you're near the beginning of your journey you might want to do intermittent fasting but still give yourself a window to eat a nice healthy meal or a healthy snack maybe some healthy fats before you go into a situation where you're really going to be tempted yeah. like let's not lie to ourselves though right like if we know we're going to make bad choices let's plan for them and plan around them so it's not a terrible choice i want to be really flexible i want to enjoy life i want to enjoy the desserts that my sister makes or um, the fried chicken that my mom makes. But if I know that's on the horizon, maybe cleaning up my diet a little bit more before and a little bit after and using ketones and intermittent fasting to make sure that I can enjoy those indulgences without falling off the wagon and without feeling too terrible. Because I will admit, last night both my husband and I, we were like, oh, I don't feel so good <laughs> when we got home. And we're like, you think that's the popcorn? I'm like, yeah, I know it's the popcorn. I know it's not good for us. And your body tells you when you eat something that's not great for you. So my encouragement for you today is, yes, be realistic, but don't lie to yourself. Like I used to tell myself all these stories in my head and all these rationales. I'm like, who am I justifying this to myself? Like, I just need to be honest with myself and nobody else really gives a care what I'm eating. Right. So like, be honest with yourself. And if you know, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be tempted by other choices, or if you're putting yourself in a situation where, you know, you're going there to eat the popcorn, to eat the bad food. Just be more intentional on either side of that um, and sort of minimize the damage that you're doing and realize that's just a blip, all right? I don't go to the movies every day. I don't eat movie theater popcorn every day, but man, that is exactly what I needed last night. Um, even though I paid for it a little bit with some stomach issues after I got home, it was just a nice release for me after all of the chaos that I was going through and, and kind of still continuing to go through. Um, so I hope that encourages you to just make some better choices on either end of a bad choice, if that makes sense. Not that I'm advocating you make bad choices all the time, but it's real life, right? We talk about real life keto. It's real life. And I wanted to go to the movies and enjoy popcorn. And I did fully and thoroughly. So anyway, I'm going to keep it short today. Thank you all for hopping on. I love seeing your comments and that's it for now. We hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Also, check out these other great videos we've made for you. And if you want more of that great keto content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so that you get notified of all of our new videos.